A three-part series that aired here on News 15 40 years ago told the story of a McFarland man with a serious heart condition who later received a transplant. Now, back then, the procedure was still considered experimental. Jimmy Ryan lived for another 32 years after receiving his new heart. Now, decades later, WMTV 15 News' Shana Najawin catches up with the Ryan family who are going through this all over again. To this day, the family gives thanks for the time they had with their loved one. But the disorder is genetic and has followed the Ryan family through the years. And tonight begins an exclusive three-part series on Jimmy Ryan's fight for life. In 1983, Jimmy Ryan from McFarland underwent a heart transplant, a surgery still in its early stages. How are you feeling today, Jim? And WMTV 15 News was there to tell his story. He flew to Minneapolis, had the surgery on September 14th, 1983. Matt Ryan. Hi, Dad. How many did you eat, Matthew? And his brother Patrick still remember that day. Give Grandma a big smacker, Patrick. <laughs> Do you say hi, Dad? No, I won't say hi, Dad. Say hi, Dad. He's going to see it on TV. Yeah, he's going to be on TV. They were just kids when their father was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy. The procedure was expensive around $82,000, an expense paid for by the community coming together. Jimmy's wife Shirley showed an x-ray of her husband's diseased heart and pleaded for help. The southern Wisconsin area responded with benefits, games, even Kool-Aid stands. And it's all for this, a new heart to replace Jimmy Ryan's faulty one. First reaction is that, uh, how do you thank somebody for your life? You know, and that's basically what the money's gonna do. It's going to save my life. The surgery was a success and gave the Ryan family an additional three decades with their father. And passed away September 21st, 2015. So 32 years and one week later. But four decades later, grainy camera footage has become clearer. Medical technology has advanced, but there is still no cure for the condition. In between that time, uh, Patrick also got very sick. Which can be passed down genetically. I'll never forget that phone call. My mom called me and she was crying, um, said that Patrick has the same disease that dad had. But just like back in 83. Your friends and acquaintances and neighbors and even people that don't know you want to do to help and just take away the problem of the financial part of it so that you can do what you say you do best and that's get well. The community is coming together for the Ryan family. And I've got stuff from the Madison Capitals and the Mallards and the, spot, and the soccer team, gift certificates and cards and, I mean, uh, quilts and stuff like that that people are, are donating. Um, and it, it's really special. Most people just kind of walk through uh, life and don't look around to, to really pay much attention to what's going on around them. And something like this really snaps you awake. The Ryan family and McFarland community partners plan to hold more fundraisers for the family in the near future. There is also a GoFundMe set up for Patrick. More information on our website. In the studio, Shana Najawin, WMTV 15 News.